I know that you're probably wondering what am I doing inside a hole and why there is a bunch of dirt behind me. Well, let me tell you the story. Eight months ago, I got an incredible opportunity. Two amazing guys from the United States who traveled all the way from Alaska through Central America onto Panama in a 90 square feet bus living on it for three years and sharing their story through YouTube offered me a place to build my house being a member of their self-sustainable community located in the top of the mountains and I said yes two months later they inspired me to create a YouTube channel to start sharing the story of my journey and six months after it I'm starting the building of my house and it is thanks to them This is a very important day in my life and it's because I'm starting the building of my house today and I think the best part of it is the fact that I'm gonna build it with my own hands and with the help of amazing and wonderful people. So these rebars are officially the first materials that I buy for my house. The first rebars, the first rebars that I buy for my house. And I'm gonna need to get a bunch more of those because for the footers I'm gonna need a lot. First, I need to mark where the house is going to be and that's why I'm using these rebar pieces to mark the lines with the streams where the house or the structure of the house, the foundations are going to be. very crucial part make sure that every single stream is very good level because we are gonna use the streams as a guide in order to line up the footers guys for real leveling a structure is pretty hard and it's harder when you have wind because the wind is moving the stream and then you don't know where is your line where is the right line where you need to really measure it perfectly it's hard but I'm gonna keep trying this is great you guys this is great look at that on one side we have a beautiful sunset and in the other side we have the moon the first working day is officially over and I'm feeling a little bit tired so I'm getting ready for the bed so you will see me in the morning for some coffee time. The day really starts after coffee. I got an idea and I want to try it. And it is basically to build a square box and I'm going to place 
a flat board in the middle and I'm gonna open a hole in that board so I can pass a rebar in the middle of a square box and I can I can use it as a guide for the footers you see it's raining now <laughs> let's talk about what I have in mind to do today I'm gonna work in the footers I'm gonna start digging them I already have all the lines marked and I'm just gonna start digging the footers I have fine clay this is what I want for the footers of my house I want to find this specific uh, kind of dirt in order to know that it's a good spot for placing the footers Right guys, the first hole for the first footer is done and I just have 11 more to go. Whew, I feel like I did a lot of workout today but tomorrow is going to be another day and I hope I can make at least three more to make more progress. I'm going to leave you with this beautiful sunset while I'll sleep. So this is what it is. See you tomorrow guys. morning you guys it has been a rainy and windy morning and it means that it's been cold and I have to go and work in the footers so I'm ready to first myself this is something very special of this place the weather how it changed how how it can be very very different from the rest of the whole country of the whole region this place, Boquete, has a very, very unique weather. For example, you saw one minute ago, it was raining. And now, take a look. It's been rainy. We have a hareke a little bit now. And it's been sunny. I'm telling you, this place, this place is perfect. So guys, we are back in the game and today we have Eberto who is going to help us again. And this time he's going to help us dig in the footer. So we are going to be working in this today. Listo, bro? This guy is a beast. He works very hard. He has some experience working in construction. He has worked in different jobs, for example, harvesting coffee. He has worked building houses, preparing concrete and all that stuff. And it is very interesting because he started working very early, like around 11 to 12 years, maybe even younger. And that's the average of the age that the people of the poor regions in Panama start working. And it is in order to bring food to the table because most of the times there is just like one parent at house most of the time the other one just like goes away and never comes back and 
that's what the people have to do. For example, in my case, I started working when I was 13 years old and it was in order to pay my, my school, my high school. Because in that time, my mom and my dad, they split and my dad, my dad left the house. So he stopped supporting us and I had to figure out a way how to keep going to the school and in that time I had some people, some neighbors who had a, a trucks business and they needed to clean their trucks every single weekend so I asked them if I could do that job for them and they, they knew my situation so they agreed and that's how I started working and Iberto's situation is pretty similar he started working around 11 to 12 in order to bring food to his table for his siblings and his mother and that's something that reminds me a lot how my childness was remind me a lot of all the things that I have made to come and to be here where I'm right now so I really respect and appreciate this guy Alright guys, that's it for this video. I have two of the holes for the footers already done and I'm just missing 10 more. And I hope that this week I can work a little bit harder and have it done by the end of the week. And I just wanna thank you guys for watching my videos and for being part of this. Love you, love you so much. And especially thanks to my Patreon community. These guys who have been supporting me all these times. Thank you, thank you so much guys. I love you and appreciate all your support. So that's it for this video, see you in the next one. And at this point I don't have to say it, because you know, you know that you are the best. Love you guys, see you in the next one.